Supreme College is all about design and serving as a platform for those individuals who want to establish a career in design. Today, I'm going to let you know about the process of admission into this like-minded community and prosper among designers. Moving forward, there are two methods of admission here. First, without any scorecard in NATA, NIFT, NID, or any known competitive design exam. And second, students who hold a valid scorecard in NATA, NIFT, NID, etc. There are some steps for both of the options. If I talk about without any scorecard, you need to follow these steps. You need to fill the application form. Then you need to upload the portfolio. And then you need to apply for that. It means design aptitude test. And then you'll be, upon qualifying this exam, you need to appear for the interview and then the final enrollment. And if we talk about the students who wish to get admission at Inframe College with a scorecard in NATA, NIFT, NID, etc., then they will have to fill the application form and then direct an interview round and then the final enroll. Let's discuss about these two procedures in detail. Now, number one, for the admission without the scorecard, the first step is to fill the application form and for that you can visit the website which is www.inframecollege.org. I can write it down for you guys. So this is our website and here you can fill the required details in the application form and submit the application fees. The next step is to upload your portfolio. It can compromise of uh, 8 to 10 art pieces showing your best work. It could have drawings, paintings, sculpture, poetry, photographs animation, 2D or 3D arts, etc. Note that you need to upload it in PDF format or multiple JPG files or a zip file which should not exceed 500 MB. Your portfolio will be reviewed by the admission team. The third step is the design aptitude test which will be of 100 marks in total. It will be a multiple choice exam and the syllabus of this exam will have mentioned section. Number one is general awareness which would have 15 questions come off. 30 marks. Second is logical reasoning which will be 15 questions again of 30 marks. Analytical thinking which will be having 10 questions of 20 marks and finally storytelling which will be having one question of 20 marks. The total time allocated will be 60 minutes and there will be no negative marks. To qualify design aptitude test your next step is online interview which is again of 100 marks. The interview will be conducted on a phone call or a video call. Time allocated will will be of 25 minutes per candidate. Um, what actually we need to know through the interview is what drives and motivates you every morning and how do you wish to create your future as a designer. So for that you can talk about your background, your achievements, your uh, transformational occurrences and things you are passionate about. Now let's talk about the evaluation criteria for all the procedures. So uh, the portfolio weightage will be 40%. Then design aptitude test holds 30% weightage. Interview holds again 30% weightage. Minimum of 75% is required to proceed for securing a seat in your desired course. Over to your last step which is enrollment. After you qualify in design aptitude test and interview round, your enrollment will be done by final admission procedure and payment of admission fees before the due date.